Cooked with Shack is sponsored in part by Prairie Meats, your local store that offers different cuts of meats featuring deli and grocery, event catering, the smokehouse, and more. 2326 Miller Avenue and in the College Park Mall or prairiemeats.ca. Prairie Meats, the taste families love. Sponsored in part by Sask Pork, online at saskpork.com for consumer information, industry news, and special events. And put pork on your fork.com for recipes. Sask Pork, demonstrating our commitment to our animals, communities, and customers. 80% of Canadian mustards are grown in Saskatchewan. That's why Gravelberg Mustard uses locally grown mustard seeds for their European style mustards. See their website at gravelbergmustard.ca for flavors and recipes. Follow on Facebook and Twitter. Hey, I'm Shaq from Rock 102. I'm not a chef, and I didn't go to any fancy cooking school. I'm just a regular guy that likes to cook. With Shaq. I'm Shaq. He's Harrison. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Boy, we got an interesting show happening here tonight. First off, mm. though, we'd like to just uh, say that Jay Semko, one great Saskatoon performer, he's got a brand new album out. It is called Flora Vista. I think that's Flower View. Is that what it means? Uh, something Flower like, View? Yeah. Anyway, a great new album, and you're going to be hearing uh, bits and pieces of it from throughout the entire episode of Cook with Shack on this particular episode. So thanks very much to uh, Jay Semko, of course, formerly of Saskatoon Zone, the Northern Pikes. Yeah. So we've got a very interesting show here tonight because we're going to be making all kinds of great food with one main ingredient, and that main ingredient is mustard. Well, we have somebody here tonight who is going to show us how to make all kinds of great food with mustard, and we call her the Mustard Queen. Her name is Val Michaud from Gravelberg Mustard. Ladies and gentlemen, will you give her a big round of applause, Harrison? Let's have a musical right. interlude. Val, come on out here. Come on out, Val. There we go, little Mustang Sally. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Way to Mustang go, Mustang Sally. Hey. Ba -ba -ba -da. Yeah. Nice. Okay, oh, we're not going to hear singing. Oh, no, all right, okay, well, fine, right. all right. Follow me your lead, Shaq. I'll just follow your lead. All right. Welcome, Val. Thank you for having me. Yes, okay, so uh, mustard, as we were mentioning, is no longer just a condiment. No, it's Mustard not. can be used for a whole bunch of things, and you're going to be giving us kind of a rundown. Tell us what we're going to be cooking here tonight with mustard. Okay, well, first off, we're going to do a cranberry cheese ball. Okay. okay. And so I'll be using the cranberry mustard that uh, I make. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with that. Then we'll get into some ribs, I believe, yes. with uh, the garlic mustard. The barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be good. And a uh, little bit of a splash of the jalapeno yes. in the potatoes, as well as the salad dressing. Nice. So, yeah. All that stuff that you can make with mustard. Now, uh, at Gravelberg Mustard, you guys make all kinds of different flavors. So how do you incorporate the flavors, and how did you come up with an idea for, say, a jalapeno mustard? Okay, uh, my line has six different wet uh, mustards, mm -hmm. as well as two dries. There's a dry mustard and a dry rub. Um, the ideas for flavors come from the people. When we do trade shows or whatever, it's more or less what people want. So, Excellent. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to some of the recipes because this all looks good. Now, it looks pretty it's pretty simple to put this pretty together. So this tell one. us what we're doing okay, here, Okay, so we are going to do the cranberry mustard, uh, the cranberry cheese balls, sorry. Right. So we need the cranberry mustard. Okay, I'm Shack. going for the cranberry okay. mustard. Is it uh, uh, the top, that's the, the top that's right? That's the Saskatoon. This yep. is the cranberry there we right go. here. Perfect. Cranberry mustard. So we're going to take some cream cheese, and this is roughly like a block of, of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to... Excuse me, I just have to try this. Oh, already. Mm -hmm. he, he, he does this all the time. I just sit here and I watch him take oh. spoons after Different spoons. Spoon, yes, yes, yes. Here, I'll put the spoon in here now. Yeah. Here, tell you what I'm going to do. While, I, while we've got this mustard out, I'm just going to dip a little baguette in there. Oh, of course. Help yourself. <laughs> Does he do this all the time? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too funny. All right, so we're going to add some marble cheese that's been uh, shredded. Ooh, that um, is a lot of cheese. I'm liking that's that. That's a ton of cheese, eh? Yeah. yeah. Welcome so, to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you to uh, chop up the cranberries? Yes. And I'll let you use your little device. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the. Now, we've never chopped up dried cranberries with the uh, pull start uh, chopper. 
Now you have the quarter cup, right? Quarter cup of quarter uh, dried cup cranberries. Of the dried cranberries, yeah, and we'll get that chopped up nice and fine. All right, let's see if we can get this chopped up nice and fine. Let's see if it's going to work. Harrison, you ready? All right, let's do let's it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. All right, stop. Right, you can talk any time, Harrison. I think we're good. Woo. Holy, okay. That's a workout. Boy, that's a good workout. I'm feeling good I'm now. I'm just gonna reach over. Now. Sure, absolutely. There, see. Ooh, that is serious chocolate. Is that some? Is that fine enough? I didn't think that would actually work. I think that's good. Perfect. Yeah. See, right. worked out okay. And so I'm just adding the cranberry mustard right here. How much do you do so of that? So I'm putting about uh, three tablespoons, but it's your liking. You add more if you want to or less. Okay. This is where I like to start. All right. Okay. So we'll try to mix this all up. I usually use my hands, but. Hey, you know what? That's use okay. your hands. Get you right in there. Absolutely. We will not judge you. You, you want to put the ahead, cranberries in? Go, yeah, go ahead. I'll all just right. give my hands a quick rinse. Okay. Well, at least you wash your hands, Jack. Come on. Oh, I always wash my hands. Come oh, on. Okay, okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what do you do? Just form it into a ball or yeah, something? We're just going to mix this all up so it's nice and. All right, so we're all good, ready to go, mixed up and real nice. Yeah, so it's now we're just going to form it into our ball. Okay. You can garnish it too by, you know, some parsley flakes yep. or some nuts or anything like that on top of that. Perfect. So there you go. Right on. That I got another way to garnish it real quick. What you do is you take a little <laughs> bit of the mustard. Oh, there you go. And you just kind of... Perfect. Dab it on top, just like that. And then, here, check this out. Let's put some little baguettes around it like this. It's all about the presentation. Shaq Very. is just phenomenal sure. at this. Sure. You just got So you can easily make this ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, put saran wrap on it and uh, roll it up. Throw it in the fridge, and you're ready to go. I've even froze my cheese balls a couple times. Yeah. Nice. So, oh, you can freeze it yeah, too. Yeah, you could just take it out when, especially around Christmas time when you're busy. Just make it ahead of time and throw it in the fridge or the freezer. Awesome. All right. Valmy Show is uh, with us from Gravelberg Mustard. We're going to come back on uh, Cook with Shack. We've already got the cheese ball ready to go. We're going to put that away. We're going to try it a little bit later on. Coming back with, I think we're going to do the ribs next. Okay. All right. Sounds on Cook with Shack. Cook the Shack is sponsored in part by Prairie Meats, your local store that offers different cuts of meats featuring deli and grocery, event catering, the smokehouse, and more. 2326 Miller Avenue and in the College Park Mall or prairiemeats.ca. Prairie Meats, the taste families love. Gravelberg Mustard. Half the world's mustard is grown in Saskatchewan, and Gravelberg Mustard specializes in European mustards made from locally grown mustard seeds. See their website at gravelbergmustard.ca for flavors and recipes. Follow on Facebook and Twitter. Hey everybody, welcome back, Cook with Shack. It is the Mustard Show today. We are actually making all kinds of neat dishes with mustard and the help of Val Show, who is the uh, head honcho, chief bottle washer, and uh, everything else in the company <laughs> for Gravelberg Mustard. And they make a whole array of all kinds of different uh, flavors of mustards and different dry mustards. We'll get to all that coming up in a bit and how you make mustard and how it all kind of comes sure, together. Yeah. But we're uh, doing all kinds of recipes with mustard. And this next one is one of my favorites because I've had not Maybe not particularly your recipe, but I've had barbecue sauce with mustard before. Mm -hmm. This one's a little different because it's a Gravelberg mustard and we're going to be using a garlic mustard. So yeah, we'll be using the Gravelberg mustard, the garlic flavor okay. with this one. I'll here. get it right okay. now. All Perfect. right, so this is it right here. Okay, nice. so I'm just going to start mixing up the ingredients this here. So we're going to start with some ketchup, about a cup of uh, ketchup. Okay. We'll just mix everything up in a bowl here. So this doesn't have to be cooked. This can be just put no, together in a bowl just, just like this. Exactly. Okay. So um, about half a cup of, this is molasses. Yes. That this is, was half a cup, Sean? That was half, yes it is. <laughs> a half a cup or a quarter cup? No, it's cup. a quarter cup. Okay. It's a quarter cup of molasses. It's yes, sir. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We, we don't measure much don't around here, that. Val. We just kind of go with what we know. This is very precise. This is a <laughs> different, okay. but I, I'm okay with this, actually. This so what I'm going to get you to do is a mince uh, a garlic okay. clove for me, please. Do we want just one garlic clove in there? I think we'll start there? with one. Are you sure? Because there's garlic in the garlic oh, mustard as well. I love garlic. Okay. That's one right. thing I like. So. Okay, well, how about we'll start we do a little taste test after if we need to add a little bit more, we can. That's okay. Shaq lets me. He usually is always 
taste testing everything, and I just kind of wait around. But okay, now that you're here, we okay, can make this happen. Okay, hold on a second. At the end of the show, you get to eat the actual food, so well, I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> well, well, I'll make sure there's some left over for you. you. Okay. Thank so you. we're going to use a very large go garlic clove here, just so that. Uh... We only need a teaspoon. <laughs> Man, whatever comes Just out of this garlic clove, we're putting it in there. There we go. And nice. then we're going to use some red wine vinegar, about a teaspoon. Is this your yeah. teaspoon? That would here? be the teaspoon. Yeah. You betcha. Okay, we'll start with that. Oh, hold on a second. Mm. Oh, garlic mustard. It's kind of my favorite. I'm serious. You really have to try this Gravelberg uh, garlic mustard. You got to try it. It's so good. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, two to three. Tablespoons. Do you oh. want three then, Harrison? Three, please. Three, okay. Yeah, I'll take three. I'll take three. <laughs> They're ganging it up on me. They're getting, are you guys a team now or what? Bye. You know, we're and we'll make things happen measurements here. measurements here, okay? All right. Okay. And yeah, then you so just put it. Can uh, you put it. Pass me that whisk. Oh there? yes. Oh, hey. oh no 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 oh, no no no. Yeah. I mean, we use no? a whisk for some things, but yeah. see, on this show, Val, we like to incorporate power tools. Oh great. And uh, because you know. Power tools are made for not only just doing house renovations, but you can actually incorporate them into making food, which makes it a lot more fun. So oh my. <laughs> this is this is I'm how scared. we uh, this is how we do well, it on this show. You might want to. Okay, I am. You back it off. This is back it off. Time. Okay, I'll get to this. Yeah. Let me tell you what. This is. We'll get all this over here. All right. Now you have to start up. It's, use a variable drill, variable speed drill, because you don't want to dip in there and go wah, and it goes all over the place. See, you start, start off here, slow okay. like that, see like that, <laughs> and then you bring it up to speed, and then look at that. Okay, well not so bad. All right, so I think we've got everything pretty much incorporated there. I think it looks good. And yeah. And then there we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. See, good. You want to lick the spatula or the spoon <laughs> or what? I. Yeah, I thought, I thought you never asked. Oh. On or off the tool? Uh, <laughs> off. Just off. Don't because, press the button. Yeah. Okay, even, Harrison, give it a shot. Thank you. I actually get to taste something. Good. Yeah, try it out. See what you think. Mmm. All right, so what we're going to be putting the uh, uh, garlic uh, mustard uh, barbecue sauce on are ribs. Now remember how you make the ribs, and I know that I've had a lot of people who have watched the shows in the past where I've made my ribs, and they all go, you don't boil ribs, you put them on the barbecue for 17 days. No, <laughs> you can put them on the barbecue for 17 days if you want, if you've got that kind of time. But I'm serious, if you take your ribs and you take the membrane off the back of the ribs when they're, when they're raw, and you have a pot full of stock, whether it be pork stock, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever it is, throw in a couple of onions, maybe a bay leaf, you put the ribs in there for two hours exactly, and then you pull them out, put them on a cookie sheet, put them in the, uh, fridge for a little bit so all the connective tissue kind of comes back together again and then you bring them out you put the barbecue sauce on either put it on the barbecue or you put them on uh, in the oven I'll tell you what these ribs are gonna fall off the bone and melt in your mouth I kid you not and it doesn't take 17 days either okay my rant is that a good rant wow I, I just want to eat like let's let's get it going here Shaq all right you know what we're gonna take the barbecue Ooh. sauce over here and we're just gonna slop it on this is how we do this. No messing around. Tell you what, we're gonna even just there do this. Yeah, 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 never okay. mind. To just reuse the brush to move it around. Okay, done. Now, we throw these back into the uh, oven at 400 for about another I don't know, five minutes or so, just in case, just in, in, until all of the uh, the barbecue sauce is nice and bubbly and starting to bubble up and and get kind of uh, glazy. All right, so we're gonna throw those back in, and we're gonna come back with our next recipe, which I believe is going to be mustard stuffed potatoes. Yeah. With Val Michaud from Gravelberg Mustard on Cooked with Shack. It's coming up. Sponsored in part by Sask Pork, online at saskpork.com for consumer information, industry news, and special events. And put pork on your fork.com for recipes. Sask Pork, demonstrating our commitment to our animals, communities, and customers.
Welcome back. It's Cooked with Shaq. It is the Mustard Show today where we are making all kinds of great things out of mustard and not just condiment anymore. You don't just have your mustard on hot dogs and hamburgers. You put it in all kinds of different things. We've already made uh, barbecue sauce for ribs. We've also made a mustard cheese ball and we are about to make uh, mustard stuffed potatoes with Val from Gravelberg Mustard. We call her the Mustard Queen. Um, so, but before we get into a little, just before we start working on the potatoes here, I want to know how do you actually make mustard? How does it come from the seed into something that you would make for, you know, to put into an ingredient? Okay, well, um, I'll give you stats first. Sure. Uh, 75 to 80% of Canadian mustard is actually grown here in Saskatchewan. Wow. And 40 to 50 of the world's mustard is grown in Saskatchewan. So that's a big resource. So uh, my typical day it usually starts about 8.30. Okay. So what I usually do is myself and a supervisor will go into the facility and mix up about 350 kgs in a day. Of so, mustard, yeah. wow. But how do you, is it made with, like you put it in a big blender with all the all of your other ingredients and then just hit the button, like a big food processor or what? Pretty well, yeah. Like there's a few different vats that we use. Okay. And uh, the biggest one that we have there usually holds about Oh, I would say close to 150 kgs. Wow. Holy smokes. Yeah, yeah. And, so. and Val was saying that she actually puts the, the product into the jars herself and you put, the, you put the tops on, screw the tops on and label them by yourself too. So once we're done adding all the ingredients into the vat, we yeah. let it mix and then we emulsify and from that point we start filling. So it gets pumped into the filling machine and it gets calibrated out to whatever size we're doing. Yeah. So I do the 45 mils, the 220s, as well as two liters. Oh, so you got a big pail. Two liters for the chefs and the restaurants. And you know, I was going to say, if you ever need a guitar player just hanging out playing when you're making <laughs> sure. that stuff, give me a call. I'd love to come by and... Uh, okay, so the, that it's awesome. That, so it's, uh, a, it's a full day. So I usually go till about uh, 4 30 4 35 wow. o'clock yeah hmm. and uh, so now we're going to do something uh, with mustard it's going to be so, stuffed potatoes yeah so stuffed potatoes I'm going to get you to hollow out some okay. of those uh, baked potatoes they're good to go so we're just going to get them into uh, the bowl here and Val how long have you been uh, been doing the mustard thing? Um, it'll be almost four years in July that uh, I bought the business. So yeah, it's been it's been good. Uh, the my product is now across not across Canada, not all of it, but uh, we started in BC, Alberta, all throughout Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Great. So and there's been some interest in Ontario as well as exporting out of country. So. That'll be really great, especially using that resource that we have. It's such a high sure. resource and um, get Saskatchewan on the map. Exactly. Right? I was going to yeah, say it. Right. It's from Saskatchewan, yeah, so yeah, it's sure. something that uh, that we all uh, will, you know, all will benefit from. I yeah, mean, you for are. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I always say I'm passionate about my company, but I'm also passionate about my province as well, and just getting it out there. Yeah. Excellent. That's really good. Um, so uh, you, why don't you, while I'm doing this, you know, maybe pump your website too. You've got a nice sure. website. Yeah, you can uh, check out the website at uh, www.gravelbergmustard.ca as well as Facebook and Twitter. Nice. Okay, so all of the uh, potatoes now right. have been hollowed out. Okay. All right, so work so your magic valve. We're going to do a, just a basic mashed potato. So your, your salt and pepper, your butter, your milk, and then we're going to add the secret ingredients. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Again, with pretzels, just use it as a dip. It's jalapeno mustard. It is so good. It is so uh -huh. good. So do you happen to have a handy dandy potato masher? <laughs> uh, well, we do. Well. We have a very large potato masher, but being that these are already somewhat uh, mashed already, I think that... Uh, we're good to go this way then? I, yeah, just, I think we'll just we go. Go. Use, a use the handy dandy whippersnapper. Again. Right. Okay, so we're going to put a little salt and pepper in. We've got some butter in there. So basically what you're doing is just making mashed potatoes exactly. that you would do for any other, for just a supper or yeah. something. Yeah, and so then we would just add, you could use the jalapeno. I like using it, just gives it a little bit more zip. But All if you right. want like a garlicky mashed potato, you yeah. can definitely use the garlic uh, mustard in that as well. Okay. Let's we may need a little bit more milk. A little uh, bit more milk? milk. Okay, yes. we'll just grab the, we'll get, grab the whole jug here. We got it somewhere. All right. Perfect, I'll get you to mix that. Do a little and then, that should be good. Yeah, I think we'll start with that. Perfect. We'll just throw a little bit of the jalapeno in there. We'll start with a tablespoon. All right, all right. Well, maybe just a bit more. No, That's my favorite. We've never <laughs> mashed potatoes with the okay. cordless drill. I'm pretty sure this is so gonna... This could really get ugly. All right, yeah, so start slow. Again, start slow. slow. Is the key. 
Can you see that miracle? Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, that works like a hot dang right there, hey? All right, how's that? That looks pretty that good. That looks good? Yep. Nice. And so from this point on, we'll just uh, restuff the potatoes. Okay, so watch this in fast motion, everybody. The fastest potato stuffing we have ever done is right here on Cook for Shack. Here we go. One, two, three. We should have a contest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Okay, you spoon. There you go. Okay, okay here we go. Who's going to get the and go? <laughs> Ta-da! All right, looks like Val won this one. <laughs> Way to go, Val! <laughs> Look at that—the fastest potato stuffers ever, right here on Cook with Shack. So now we put all of these in a tray. And uh, we basically are going to just put these back in the oven for a little bit just to heat them up. But uh, Val, again, on our show, we like to garnish things with for sure. with things. And uh, we don't usually have a show. <laughs> we don't usually have a show without bacon and cheese. We've already got a lot of cheese with the cheese ball that we made, and but hot of course sauce. the hot sauce. The hot sauce. But we do I have jalapeno. We do. So we'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right. Okay. So we have a little bit of bacon. And okay. we have a little, a little bit of cheese. cheese. Oh, so what we're going to do is drop a little cheese on top of these stuffed potatoes. Just a little cheese. Just a, <laughs> just a wee little bit of cheese. We don't count calories at all on this no? show. Okay. You, just, you just go with it. It's a good thing. <laughs> Whatever tastes good. Yeah, you know, in moderation, right? You're exactly. not going to be eating these things every single night, are well, you? Well, I might after I taste this mustard. Then again, you might. Yeah. You'll be just eating the straight mustard, is what you'll He's be doing. He's going to order the two-liter pail. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to put a little bit of bacon on there. And this is all just fresh bacon, maple, or uh, cherry uh, smoked bacon from Prairie mm. Meats. So good. This is really good. I mean, so, oh, there's a big chunk that just went on there. Somebody's going to get that one. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Okay. That is going in for a few minutes. And you know what? The ribs are done. Potatoes are cooking. We're going to come back. We're going to have uh, Val tell us a little bit about more about her company. We're also going to uh, do a vinaigrette made with mustard. We're going to get it all plated up. It's going to be an entire meal, all made with mustard from Gravelberg Mustard on Cooked with Shack, coming up. Gravelberg Mustard. Make all your meals gourmet meals with Gravelberg Mustard. It's more than just mustard. For more info on Gravelberg Mustard, see their website at gravelbergmustard.ca and follow them on Facebook and Twitter. And here's and give us a mustard. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome back. It's Cooked with Shaq. It is Mustard Day today with the Mustard Queen, Val Michaud from... Say that. <laughs> well, you are. Gravelberg Mustard. You, well, you are because you uh, you own your own company and uh, your company is all about mustard, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. All right, so before we get to our final um, uh, dish, which actually isn't a dish, it's more or less we're just doing a... a salad dressing. A vinaigrette. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to take out these ribs that were made with mustard barbecue sauce. Take a look at those babies right there. And I'll tell you what, they're gonna melt in your mouth. And you know, while we're down here, let's take out some of the potatoes. Look at that. Stuffed potatoes. Let's move it all over here. Okay, we're gonna plate these uh, up right now while I'm plating. Val, why don't you tell everybody about uh, about the vinaigrette? Okay, we're gonna do a Saskatoon berry uh, salad dressing. So in that, we're just gonna mix a few ingredients like uh, white vinegar, some olive oil. Oops, I need a spoon. And this is honey as well. Mm-hmm. So 
Um, with your mustard, you can obviously buy it at the retail stores that the mustard is uh, there, but you can also get it online as well, too? Uh, yeah, you can definitely check out the website. Um, you can check out the retailers that carry my product mm -hmm. and see who's the closest to you. Okay. Um, as well as you can buy it on online as well. Nice. Okay? Nice. So, and it also comes, as you can see, it comes in the large size. It also comes in, like, the gift. You also have baskets and that type of thing, That's too? That's right. Or There's a lot of retailers that do that as their gift. Um, giving as well as nice. their corporate gifting, yeah. So what did you put in there? So, okay, so we did a little bit of the uh, white vinegar, mm -hmm. some honey, some olive oil, and I just put in some Saskatoon syrup. Okay. Now, I will need the Saskatoon oh, yes, berry right. mustard. Saskatoon berry mustard. Mm. Who would have thought that mustard and Saskatoon berries would go together? That sounds hey? good. Well, it the does. Saskatchewan fruit, right? That's so right. It's Saskatoon, yeah. It's all Saskatoon. Mm. And what I'll get you to do, Shaq, is cut up the lemon, oh, and we'll sure. need the juice of one lemon, please. And what do you do with the lemon first, uh, Harrison? Do you remember you, what you do? You roll it or something. Yes, I, you yeah. roll it, because what it does is it That's busts right. up all the membranes in there I that hold all the... I show. I really do, Shaq. Absolutely. I, I lots from you. And then you, so it's all nice and juicy now. It releases all the juices. And then we put it in the old handy dandy squeezer. Okay. That's right. And we'll squeeze that right in there like that. So there's one. Perfect. And I'll just put a little bit of salt and pepper in that. Oh, Whoa. missed. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, right. The and the garbage here. is that way. Right, that's right. Yeah. Somebody moved my garbage. That's Where's right, the too. Dog? Clean that up. And then there goes the other lemon. Perfect. Okay, that goes over here like that. Okay, and we will just whisk this up together. No, you won't whisk anything up. Let's let's do this again. Oh, this is what sorry. it's all about. Wow, Remember, we're getting our, uh, now we're emulsifying. We're really this time, yeah. Yeah. Now we are emulsifying. All right, so it may not be as emulsifying as uh, it should be. So let's. Let's yeah. use let's a whisk. Take the whisk. Let's try a whisk. You can also use you can also use the bottle that um, I came out with. It has a number of different recipes on there. So you just add the ingredients is in the bottle and give it a shake. Mm -hmm. Once you're done with that, you can throw it in the fridge and use it for future. There it is. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have got the ribs done. We are going to take out one of these potatoes. Let's get a nice one here. It's got this great jalapeno mustard stuffed potato right there. A big chunk of bacon on it. And a big wad of melted cheese. Look at that. And now. Mm -hmm. And if you just, have a little bit of a ladle, or uh, we can we just. We could just use, a, how about this? How about sure. we use a little spoon like this? And so you want to just, just, just spoon a, it over? Just drizzle a little bit over top of your okay. salad that's there. And this is just a basic salad. It's just some yeah. spring greens now with some can, arugula. You can top that with uh, dried cranberries again or some feta cheese. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Nice. Some, even some roasted almonds. Okay. okay. So that's and it. There Look you at go. that. Look at that. Hey, eh? that's, that's all great. done with mustard, believe it or not. So we've got the mustard barbecue sauce on the ribs. We've got the mustard stuffed um, Jalapeno. uh, jalapenos. Oh, you know what? We forgot the cheese ball. The cheese ball. We, we had nappy. the cheese ball. So <laughs> That's we, right. we, remember what it looked like? Here, look back to the beginning of the show. That's what it looked like, okay? So it's gonna be that the cheese ball, we've got the vinaigrette with mustard, we've got the stuffed potato, we've got the uh, barbecue sauce. We're ready to eat. Are you ready to eat? I've been ready for a while. Val, you ready to eat? I'm, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to eat. Camera guys, you ready to eat? Yes? Okay, all right. Val Michaud from Gravelberg Mustard, thank you very much oh, for joining us. Thank you us for having me, Shaq. Cook with Shaq. It's always nice to have guests coming in and showing us all the uh, the great products that they have as well. And of course, it's all from Saskatchewan, That's so right. that makes it even yeah. better, too. So and thank you. Yeah, and the best part is you get to do dishes. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I'm just going to pack up this old guitar and. Uh, yeah, we're going to go eat. Yeah, we're yeah. going to yeah. Harrison gets to do dishes. <laughs> Once again, I'd like to thank Jay Semko. His new album is called Flora Vista. Jay, thanks very much for being a part of the show, too. Uh, you can pick up his CD wherever CDs are available and check them out online as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Harrison, Val, I'm Shaq, Cook with Shaq. See you next time.
Cooked with Shack is sponsored in part by Prairie Meats, your local store that offers different cuts of meats featuring deli and grocery, event catering, the smokehouse, and more. 2326 Miller Avenue and in the College Park Mall or prairiemeats.ca. Prairie Meats, the taste families love. Sponsored in part by Sask Pork, online at saskpork.com for consumer information, industry news, and special events. And put pork on your fork.com for recipes. Sask Pork, demonstrating our commitment to our animals, communities, and customers.